action. Hi, my name is Lily Pop, and today I'll be performing where I changed my life speech. This speech, I'll be talking about something or, or somebody who changed my life. Let's get started. Here, in my opinion, almost everything can change your life. For example, your family. If you get a new baby sister, a baby brother, or maybe your older sister or your older brother change your life, they influence you. That's one way they can that's one way something can change your life. And pets. For example, if you really, really want a dog and your parents don't let you get a dog, but then one day you your parents got you a dog, then maybe your parents or your dog change your life. Or like a cat, goldfish, um, hamster, gerbil, they could all change their life. So now the toys. For the toys, I think it's all of your favorite. If you want like, you really, really want, want a toy. But then you got it, you'll be so happy and that will probably change your life. And you'll play it for like, your whole life. Um, one other reason why toys are toys can change your life is because like toys can like uh toys can for example if you get a good toy you really you like it really really much and maybe the toy um did something to you or the, like maybe the toy got you something or did a special thing for you, then you'll be really happy and you think that toy changed your life. The fourth and final thing that I think something can change your life is new experiences, which like if you go to Florida, Miami, um, some place at the beach, you'll probably, first time going to the beach, you'll probably like, like it very much or dislike it, depending on like your body or yeah. The traits. So if you like it really much, then that will be a new experience and that probably change your life. This doesn't just apply to beaches or stores. It can apply to anything, like maybe your first time riding an airplane. Maybe that was your favorite moment in life. That will be a new experience and that will change your life. You might still be wondering, what happened to me? I'll get Raise your hand and you, you can guess one of these four. Who wants to guess? Mia. Uh, one more. Uh, Roy. Uh, new experience? Wrong. I'll tell you. <laughs> um, I got a new sister. Um, okay. Right. I got a new sister. If I didn't have my sister, I would be very lonely. Like every time I come to school. If I had my sister, I would I would feel I would look I would come in my house and if I uh, can't do anything, if I ate my dinner, I could play with my sister and I won't be lonely. If I didn't have a sister then after dinner, maybe, then I'll have no one to play with, which is sad. Also, one thing, I got my sister in 2018. She is now five, five years old. She turns five and she, she turns six in August 13th. I would also have no one to play with. Like, if, like I said, if I come home, there's no one there's no one in the house except my mom and dad, then they'll be really lonely. The house would also be very quiet because my sister would make loud noises and like using her voice and her voice. I don't like loud noises. I don't like like awkward moments of silence. It's just weird. Fourth thing, you might not have many good memories because if you have an extra person in life, they might do different things and new things that would probably make good memories and good experiences. Fifth and final reason, if I didn't have my sister, I would have 
no one to be responsible for. That is bad because if you if you don't have anything anyone to be responsible for, you will be like really hurt <coughs> and stuff like that. Now sometimes I get very annoyed with my sister. She sometimes does stuff that makes me really annoyed. Like maybe take my toys without asking and breaking them. One reason. Also, my parents are on her side. <coughs> what I mean by this is like, if me and my sister argue, like maybe I want a toy, but she also wants a toy, my parents will let my sister get a toy because she's younger. So yeah. Also, I have to listen to her orders so she won't cry. That's uh, weird because Every time I make her cry, my dad grounds me, so I don't like to make her cry. She also makes me impatient, which she like talks, 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 and I'm like, shut up. And she doesn't shut up, so she's really, really impatient. Finally, I'm very grateful to my sister, even though she annoyed me. Thank you.